today we are going to discuss about how light refracts when it passes through the glass slab so our today's topic is refraction of light through a to a rectangular rectangular glass slab so we know that when light travels from one medium to another medium it is seen that it gets refracted due to the change of the speed of light in a particular medium it causes to refract the light so let us see how light actually gets refracted in the glass slab for that we first put the glass strip and the uh, rectangular face of the glass slab is shown here in the diagram you can see here we just taken the rectangular glass slab and uh, we will draw the ray diagram we have taken rectangular slab here when it is put on the white plane of sheet of paper uh, we give the name of the rectangular glass slab as a b and c and d and uh, measuring the length of the ab taking to the one third distance we draw the perpendicular here we draw the perpendicular here and uh, this is the normal to the interface passing to the point o n o n dash is the normal and uh, when we draw perpendicular to test the second interface it will be the new name we will call it as total l so n o n dash is the normal and this very o l is the total thickness of the slab the ray of light is coming from the radar medium so we used to write here the light coming from the radar medium and it is going to the denser medium denser medium is here glass medium denser medium is the glass medium now we will draw the incident rays which uh, incident at the point o you just draw the incident light coming to the point of incident at o this very light is supposed to be coming from the source s and uh, if no slab is there light may travels along the straight line so we first draw the straight line which is supposed to be the original direction of light without the glass slab if no glass slab is there the light would goes straight wise and we have taken here with the arrow this is the original direction of light when it enters into the glass slab what happens diffraction takes place light bends toward the normal and it just by changing the original direction of light it making angle incident light making angle i1 with the normal in the rarer medium an angle of refraction made by the refracted light taken as r1 at the point o see the angle made by the refracted light with the same normal and when rays incident on the second interface cd 
at any new points we call it as code as where we once again draw the normal we draw the normal here and the second normal is taken as n2 n2 o dash n2 dash is the second normal at the second interface so here the when light gets refracted inside the glass material it is seen that when rays comes out of the glass slab it becomes parallel to the direction of incident light and uh, we here just emerge out the emergent rays as hmm. this very emergent rays makes angle of e which is called angle of emergence so there are so many terms the traveling of ray of light is from source to the point of incident scope and then after refraction the rays travels from o to o dash inside the glass materials becoming refracted rays making angle r1 and the another angle r2 is the angle of incident inside the denser medium of the glass slab making by the refracted rays at the o dash point and finally the rays comes out of the glass slab as an emergent rays the o dash to t is the emergent rays emergent rays so we see here that how much the angle of deviation produced by the refracted rays with respect to the original direction of light it is the angle made at the point o which is delta delta is the angle of deviation produced at the point o inside the material of the glass slab so overall the for simplicity we just write what is our abcd it is just a rectangular glass slab it is just a rectangular glass slab and h2o is our incident ray incident ray and o to o dash is the refracted rays refracted rays passing inside the material of the glass slab o dash to t is the emergent ray coming out of the glass slab emergent ray next one is the uh, we calls normal normal first normal is written for n1 and it is n1 dash so n1 o n1 dash is our first normal first normal at o at the first interface similarly we can write here for n2 o dash n2 dash as second normal second normal at o dash which is at the second interface cd a b is the first interface cd is the second interface and this very glass slab is the denser medium where speed of light decreases with respect to the light coming from the air medium and uh, here i1 is the angle of incidence angle of incidence and similarly r1 is the angle of refraction angle of refraction and uh, here is small delta which is equal to angle made by o dash o and 
m when we draw the perpendicular when we draw the perpendicular from o dash to m this is called lateral displacement delta x is the lateral displacement first of all right here angle made by o dash o and m is the angle of deviation angle of deviation so r2 angle r2 is the angle of incidence second angle of incidence r2 angle is called second angle of incidence inside the material of the glass slab material of the glass slab and we also know here that the angle r1 and angle r2 are both equal to each other because of the two normals perpendicular and we used to write o m the fraction at the first interface we will apply the snell's law now the fraction of light at first interface first interface is our ab medium separator when light travels from zero medium to denser medium we apply here by snell's law we know that sin of angle of incidence in the rare medium to sin angle of angle of diffraction in the denser medium is equal to refractive index because the ray has entered into the glass medium we are writing here the refractive index of the glass coming from here and we take any test equation 1 similarly we will apply the same rule for the second interface and uh, once again the fraction will take place the fraction of light at second interface second interface cd when light travels from optically dense medium optically dense medium to optically zero medium so by snell's law once again we will write sin of r2 by sin of e angle of emergence the light has comes out of the glass slab in the air medium so the refractive index of the air medium is considered when light is coming from the glass medium and we write equation 2 here and from these two equations by using this very equation 1 and 2 we can write here by multiplying with these two terms 
sin i1 by sin r1 multiplied with the sin r2 by sin e the right hand terms refracting index of the glass when light enters from the air medium multiplied to the refractive index of the air when the ray of light coming from the glass medium so we see here that r1 becomes very equal to r2 we can write sin i1 by sin r1 equal to sin r2 is equal to r1 so we write here r1 and angle of emergence these two signs are cancelling out and we know that when light travels from air medium to glass medium and refracting rays from glass medium to air medium this is equal to 1 according to the principle of reversibility so we see here sin i by sin e is equal to 1 which gives the meaning of sin i1 is equal to sin e and hence we can say that angle of incidence becomes equal to angle of emergence so this very condition shows that this very condition shows that the incident rays incident ray becomes parallel to the emergent ray okay now the another concept inside the glass slab is that when we draw the perpendicular from the od s point to m which is taken as delta x and this very delta x is the perpendicular distance of the emergent ray to the actual path of the incident ray which is called lateral displacement lateral displacement which is defined as the perpendicular perpendicular distance of the emergent ray of the emergent ray of light from the extended incident ray is called lateral displacement lateral displacement and we used to write here delta x in the diagram now we will make the calculation of how to calculate the lateral distance in the diagram for in the triangle where o l o d s is considered you can think here cos of r1 is equal to o l by o o d s here o to l is equal to total thickness of the glass slab this is equal to thickness of the glass slab okay so we can write here o to l is the t and o to o s is equal to equation 4 now what happens in the triangle uh 
रेक्टेंगल ओ एम ओ डैश वेयर डेविएशन इज शोन साइन ऑफ एंगल डेविएशन द परपेंडिकुलर इज ओ डैश इन बाई हाइपोटेनस ओ डैश दिस वेरी ओ डैश एम इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा एक्स and o o dash equation 5 it is seen that by equation 4 and 5 we can relate it by dividing the cos r1 with the sin delta t by o2 o dash divided by delta x by o2 o dash so we get T by delta x. So we take the formula for cos r one divided by sine delta, which is equal to T by delta x, and uh, we write for the delta x. Delta x, which is the lateral displacement, lateral displacement can be written in terms of t by cos r one and multiplied with the sine delta. So here the formula. Relating the thickness of the glass slab with the lateral distance, we get a very important relation. It is seen that lateral displacement depends directly on thickness of the glass slab. So, more the thickness, more will be the lateral shift of the light. So, in the glass slab, we have got the relation for. lateral displacement and uh, in the diagram where the angle of incidence becomes equal to angle of refraction with the angle of deviation this has the sense of vertically opposite angles total i1 Becomes equal to some of the R one plus delta. Whence we can write delta is equal to angle of incidence minus angle of refraction. So in place of delta we can write for the delta x, which is equal to T upon cos R one multiplied with the sin delta and this very t can be expressed in terms of cos r1 and in place of delta we can write angle of incidence minus r1 so this very formula is also taken for the total displacement lateral displacement produced inside the glass slab Formula seven, and this is the required expression for lateral displacement. As the delta x increases, as i increases, so the delta x also increases. Delta x also here depending directly on the thickness, and uh, lateral displacement will increase. With increasing angle of incidence, I one. So this very this completes the discussions of finding out the. displacement lateral displacement in case of last slab